Hello everybody, welcome back. So the other day I actually made a video talking about the future of multiplayer gaming and if you might like it, if you might dislike it, the people that are actually predicting what it's going to look like and that video just covered that and because I really enjoyed making that video and because it got really good feedback from you guys, I wanted to do something on just gaming in general. Where will gaming be in 50 years? Now of course, all of this is just speculation. None of it has any evidence behind it whatsoever, but you can actually find these people online. I think they're called futurologists. Let me actually look that up real quick. Yeah, forecasting the future. That's what a futurologist is. And you can really claim to be one no matter where you are in life, but there are some really good ones out there. And what I did was I was looking into what they were saying about gaming, and I was also kind of just coming up with some of these things on my own. And because of that, I wanted to come up with a few things that I think may happen in the future in 50 years, actually. I actually set a time of 50 years in the future. There's about three or four of these, so let's get right into the video, guys. I'm so excited for this video. Now, video game consoles were released, home-based consoles, back in 1972-1973 era. And it was called the Odyssey. It was the first one that people were actually able to sell to home users, not anything arcade or for science purposes. It was a Pong style art game. I'll actually show a clip here for you guys real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Are you going? <laughs> you bastard. I find that extremely, extremely cool and you can see over the past, how long has it been, just under 50 years-ish, where we have gotten with gaming. And I can steer it too, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> there are some of these futurologists out there are saying that there's a scale of graphic quality. That's going to be the biggest thing that we're going to reach first. Graphic quality from 0 to 100. 0 or 1 kind of being that Pong style early Odyssey type game and 100 being like you're looking at a window into another world where it's 100% can't tell the difference between you or this other reality. These futurologists are saying that right now in 2016-2017 era we are going to be around the 80 mark. Whereas we only have another 20 to go before we actually are not able to even tell the difference between ourselves and this other reality in this video game. So once that happens, where do we go from there? How do we improve that? Because it's going to be coming here pretty soon and if we have 50 years, we have some time to spare. What these people are going to do is change the game physics. A game is kind of made to immerse you into the game as much as possible. That's what makes a good game, something that you can really get into and feel like you're actually there and really enjoy a story or something like that, or just to have fun. So once we hit that 100 mark for graphic quality, these game physics such as, say you're playing some sort of shooter game in 2070 or whatever. Rather than you taking a step right here and having your foot touch a leaf and a stick and having that stick crack and do exposing where you are to the enemy or you can step over here where there's just one leaf and there's not that stick cracking keeping your position hidden that is what's going to separate games once we hit that 100 mark with graphics quality is that game physics that make you feel like this is real this is cool. This game reacts like the real world reacts to me being there. That in-game physics is what's going to push past the 100 mark graphic quality. Another big, big one is VR, because VR is already here. VR is out. You can go get an Oculus Rift at Best Buy. I just tweeted out the other day that they have them at my local Best Buy, and I'm really curious on if I want to get this or not. They're out right now, but what are all of the faults? One fault is the graphics quality isn't that great, and another big fault is they are big and bulky and clunky. You might not think about that right away just because this is the first round of VR headsets, but imagine a VR headset that is like the shape of a, some glasses, or even smaller than that, where you can actually move around wirelessly with these VR headsets being able to move around your house freely or being able to move outside freely without being bogged down by wires and a bulky headset. That is definitely something that will happen in the next 50 years, I guarantee it, because unless VR doesn't catch on, of course, but from what we're really seeing so far, VR is the next huge step in gaming in a lot of people's minds. You can 
think about this however you want to, but honestly, I think VR is going to catch on, and that is something we are going to see in the future. Now, one more huge thing here I want to talk about that I really want to get your guys' opinion on is controllers. In the next 50 years, do you think that video game controllers themselves are going to be eliminated? Now, I'm saying this simply because when games first came out, to now, they've all had controllers. There's always been some sort of controller in your hand that you control on the screen. Do you think that those are going to be going away in the next 50 years with something like a screen coming in or something like, I don't know, there's just, there's so many different options that you can really choose from, but the familiar aspect of a controller, do you think that that will go away? In my opinion, I think it almost depends a little bit because there are games like, let's think about some games that stood time over the last 50 years here. Games like, think like Laura Croft, like Tomb Raider or Mario, something that they keep remaking and they're very good with controllers. I think that because people want to have that nostalgic classic feel a lot of the times with games, I mean, they still make pixel art side-scrolling games that are brand new that come out in the future still because it's a, ty it's a type of art in a game that people still like. So I think that controllers are going to be an option in the future, but it's going to be something that people kind of shy away from when it comes to the more intense gamers playing the most intense games you can in 50 years. Now with all of this being said, again, it's kind of a mixture between these futurologists and me kind of just thinking and doing a little bit of research. But again, these are all just speculations and things that I thought might sound a little bit cool or things that really look like they're going that way. I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Please comment what you think will happen in the next 50 years with gaming. Leave a like, leave a subscription guys. It really does help me out. I will see you all later.